have you ever wondered when you hit localhost 3000 or localhost 8080 on your browser what happens behind the scene so let's jump into the video and understand in details so when you type http localhost 8080 or maybe if you're using any react application or node application localhost 3000 in the browser it basically sends the http request where you're going to have some data right you're going to have the host obviously the host will be the local host the port number in this case let's take the example of 8080 it can be anything like 3000 then the path so we we don't have any path here just a normal slash and by default the method will be the get method now what do you think what will happen when we send this http request from the browser where is it going any guesses okay so it goes to actually your operating system and you must be thinking you must be thinking it is going to the server right no first of all browser handles browser hand over that request to your operating system and your operating system is going to check now I'm going to take two different uh, scenarios here. One is a local host and second, just to compare, you know, uh, Google example also. So say, suppose you have written google.com because this is also important local host as well as any other URL. So say, suppose you have hit google.com, your operating system is going to contact the DNS server because your operating system needs the IP address to get the pages related to google.com because you can't i mean it, basically your operating system cannot handle or cannot get the html pages just by the name like google.com it needs the address the ip address of that particular machine where all the html pages or all the apis reside right so i've just written the number 80 and 443 here so if you send a http request by default it goes to port number 80 and if it is a https request it goes by default the port number is 443 now this is related to dns server and google.com let's come back to localhost okay so we were talking about localhost you hit localhost in your browser uh, browser has formed the http request and with all of this data it has handed over it to the operating system now your operating system is going to check okay it is not google.com or amazon.com or apple.com so it's localhost so you're asking for handling this request by myself i mean your operating system so your operating system understands okay this request is for me so what it's going to do right in that case it's going to check the ports where which applications are running or web servers are running so there are so many ports uh, available in your computer almost like 65000 ports right so it starts from zero maybe and goes up to 65k so we use some of the ports like 8080 8081 then 3000 3001 3002 these are some of the standard ports you might have seen in other videos also people using while creating the application so it's going to check Okay, I got the port number 8080. It's going to check which web server is running on this port. And it's going to say, okay, the Apache Tomcat is running on this particular port. So it's going to hand over that request to Apache Tomcat and then Tomcat is going to take care of it. So if I need to return any product list, Tomcat is going to find out or your Spring Boot application is going to find out that particular route and it's going to return that data related to products or related to users or anything else. In case of a home page, it's just going to return the home page. Or it can be the express server running on port 8080. So your express server is going to handle that particular route, like in our case, that slash home route. And, and the other thing which we have passed is, if I scroll up, right? question request that is a method right so it's going to check whether it, it is a get method or a post method and based on that it's going to give it to that particular route so if someone asks you you know in an interview or somewhere somewhere right this is really important topic i wanted to cover if anyone asks you how what happens when you hit localhost 
i think you can just refer to the slides you know and refer to this video and probably you can tell them what actually happens at the local host so i i'm thinking like i have resolved the mystery here if this video has helped you let me know in the comment box and i'm going to see you in the next video until then you take care goodbye and thanks for watching the video